What if you could reveal your logo or image with a smooth cinematic paper and fold effect? Today I'm going to show you how to create this sleek paper and fold effect in Adobe Premiere Pro. No plugins, just simple steps to make your visuals pop. Hey what's up guys, I'm Shabir. If you love insane high quality tutorials like this one, Make sure to smash the subscribe button and hit the bell icon so you never miss out on the next mind blowing tutorial. To get us started, you will need a paper and fold video with a green and blue background like this one. You can either find it online or download it from the link in the description. Once downloaded, open Premiere Pro, create a new sequence and place the paper and fold clip on the first track. Then drag your image, logo or whatever you want to reveal onto the second track. Make sure your image is longer than the paper clip and cut it where the paper clip ends. Move the playhead to the end of the paper clip to ensure that the green color fully covers your image. For me, it's looking good, but if it doesn't look right for you, simply head to the effects panel. If you don't see it, go to window and select effects. Search for the transform effect and add it to the paper clip. In the effect controls panel, adjust the scale property until it's fully visible. When you are satisfied, we will mask the clip with the image and key out the blue background. Head to Effects panel, search for Track Matte Key and drag it onto the Paper Unfold clip. In the Effect Controls panel, set the matte to Video 2, which is our image layer, and composite using Matte Alpha. Then head back to the Effects panel, search for Ultra Key, and drag it onto your Paper Unfold clip. In the Effect Controls panel, use this eyedropper tool to select the blue background and set the keying settings to aggressive. Now let's remove the green background. Before that, duplicate the image layer by holding Alt and dragging it up. We don't need the duplicated layer to be visible right now, so click the eye icon to hide it. Next, select both the image and paper clip layers, right click and choose nest. Name the nested clip is not important, so feel free to name it anything. Unhide the duplicated image layer, bring the image layer to the first track and the nested clip to the second track. Then duplicate the nested clip by holding Alt and dragging it up. We don't need the duplicated nest to be visible right now, so click the eye icon to hide it. Now head to Effects panel, search for Track Matte Key and drag it onto the image layer. In the Effect Controls panel, set the matte to Video 2 and composite using Matte Alpha. Finally, unhide the second nested clip, go to the Effects panel, search for Ultra Key and add it to the second nested clip. Use the eyedropper tool to select the green background and set the keying settings to aggressive. And that's it, here is the final result. Got any questions, drop them in the comment section and I will do my best to help you out. Don't forget to subscribe for more wonderful tutorials and hit that bell icon to be updated on new tutorials. Thank you for watching, see you in the next one.